Okie dokie, top 10 favorite Pixar movies, starting with The Dinoco Dinosaur, himself, Arlo, in The Good Dinosaur, uh, cute film, and uh, look at the, just look at the, um, the animation in that, it's just so, I don't think, I think it flopped and, you know, did not deserve that, not at all. Wall-E, I think, is a genius film. You know, these are in no particular order. And uh, Wall-E, I, I love so much because, you know, it, it shows you what... It's kind of predicting what will happen, and I love that. And I love the animation, and you know, with Wall-E and Eve and um, beautiful animation. If Up was just that, like, first, how, like, ten minutes? If it was just that, I'd put that as number one. But I, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be more, you know, this is a list. So, um, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's, you know, at first it was up there, and then, you know, a lot of just dumb things with the, the dogs and the, the jets and... I know I'm into weird shit, but yeah. Um, <laughs> if it was that like first 10 minutes again, it'd be number one. Yes, I had to put the first one somewhere. Um, it's Toy Story. It's what started it all. Um, I like the character. I love the characters. And uh, it's some of the best songs. Um, I like Strange Things and uh, the uh, Buzz's song a lot more than You Got a Friend in Me, but that's just me. Now we get to, I think, one of my sister's favorites, and that is Coco. Beautiful animation. Wonderful songs. And, uh, yeah, very sad. <laughs> yes, Toy Story 2, I like, I love more than Toy Story 1, mainly because of the q you know, the one she loved me scene. Uh, beautiful song written by Randy Newman. Sung by Sarah McLaughlin. And um, I like how you got to see the toys actually do action. That, than the first when they're just staying in the house. Like I actually, like, the toys actually got out. Like, I like that. And next I'm going to pick the film that re was released on my mother's birthday. I remember seeing this. On her very birthday. And it was awesome. Monsters, Inc. A.K.A. Known as a ripoff of Little Monsters. Um, it's a cute film. I remember it. I remember. I love the idea. I love how the screams connect. Like, you know, you collect screams. It works, you know, the world. Which is cool. And, uh... Did not need a prequel. You, we need. We wanted. You know. Uh, you know. Um, Scared ice, but that never worked with Miranda Cosgrove as Boo. But nope, that never worked. Sadly, but number three is Finding Nemo, mostly because of the chemistry b between Marlin and Nemo. Um, Ellen DeGeneres, I I can't stand Dory. I get it, but it was just a character that was not needed. <laughs> um, but uh, I love the other characters. Finding Dory was just... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love the characters. I love the uh, McDonald's toys. And uh, a really good, uh, nice... You know, Thomas Newman did really good. With the music. Bugs Life was always my favorite. But you know it's my second favorite now. You know I, I love. All the characters. I love the merchandise. And you know. The, I made it a butterfly. <laughs> you know. R.I.P. But yeah. Number one is The Incredibles. Easily. Easily. Um, number one. Because, well, at first it was Bugs Life. Even as a kid, I loved Bugs Life. You know, I love Bugs Life and I love ants. 
Um, you know, just how I was with, you know, stuff like Bugs Life other than Toy Story. And, uh, I was just more of a fan. But, uh, Incredibles, I really have a soft spot for. I love the idea that they're, you know, they're people. Um, clearly didn't need the sequel that, you know, didn't need that final... You know, the, the final film was just not what I, I, I wanted. I wanted an older Incredibles. I wanted, you know, Jack, Jack meeting Syndrome's son, which was one of the ideas. But no, they had to screw it up and make this stupid, ridiculous Mr. Mom thing. And it was just, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, it's still, it's my favorite of, of, of the Pixar movies and hope he's like this. Hope he's like this list.